Every product launch needs to be planned, tested, and refined to ensure it meets quality, functional, and manufacturability standards. A critical part of this is product validation, which is identifying design flaws, manufacturing challenges, and risks before full-scale production. The three stages in this validation process are engineering validation test, EVT, design validation test, DVT, and production validation test, PVT. Each of these stages serve a unique purpose, playing a vital role in refining the product design and ensuring it is ready for mass production. By understanding the differences between these phases, companies can reduce risk, improve product quality, and ensure a smooth transition from prototype to final production. So let's get into it and explore what these stages are, why they matter, and how they ensure a smoother transition from prototype to final products. Let's start with EVT, or Engineering Validation Test. Think of EVT as a first real-world test for your product design. This is a stage where you go from CAD to physical product. During EVT, engineers test early prototypes to verify that the design functions as intended during engineering. Usually these prototypes are built using pre-production method and materials, which may not really be replicated in mass production. So think of CNC, 3D printing, and other forms of uh, prototyping. The goal of EVT is that the prototype meets all the engineering and technical functional requirements. And it's not about validating that the product can be made at scale. So make sure the product works and don't really worry about scaling it for production. That's not important right now. So EVT answers this main question. Does a product work as designed? And that's it. That's really the main question that you need to answer at this phase. Here's also what happens during EVT. So engineers validate the fundamental design by testing functionality, performance, and basic features. They, they identify design risk flaws, tweaks, and, uh, tweaking components, and then really they, they fix them. And the material choices are also going to be evaluated at this stage as well. However, depending on the prototype method, you will not really need to test the material depending on which method you're using. This stage really lays a foundation for all future developments. If you skip, skip it or you rush through it, you're likely to face uh, bigger and costlier problems in the future. Next is design validation test or DVT. So if EVT is about proving that the design works, DVT is all about perfecting the design and moving it towards production. During DVT, you're still working with prototypes, but they're much closer to the final product in terms of design, materials, and assembly. During DVT, you will need to answer some of these fundamental questions. Can we reliably manufacture this product at scale? Does the design meet all necessary certifications and other standards? And is a product durable and reliable enough for its intended use? The goal of DVT is to ensure that the product's design is optimized for mass production while still meeting all functional requirements. This involves testing the product in real world conditions, confirming that it complies with safety and regulatory standards. During DVT, key activities include running more advanced reliability tests like drop tests, environmental tests, or long-term usage simulations, verifying that the product can be assembled efficiently and consistently, finalizing the design for manufacturing, or DFM, which means tweaking anything that could, be made, uh, that could make production too complex or expensive. This is also the stage where you ensure the product is production ready. By the end of DVT, there should be no more major design changes. Finally, we have PVT, or Production Validation Tests. This stage is where your product transitions from small-scale prototypes to full-scale mass production. An essential part of PVT is the pilot run, which is an initial production run that's a small percentage of the first PO. The pilot run will help you to test and optimize the production lineup setup, uh, identifying and uh, fix any bottlenecks or inefficiencies, and ensures all tooling materials and processes are ready for mass production. It's essentially the final dress rehearsal before full-scale production, giving you just one last opportunity to address any quality or process issues. 
The primary goal of PVT is to validate that the production line can build the product at scale with consistent quality. This is where the final changes to the production processes are made and it's essential to ensure that the supply chain, manufacturing equipment and QC procedures are all working seamlessly. During PVT, key activities will include running the production line at near or full capacity during the pilot run, conducting thorough quality checks on every aspect of uh, product and processes, preparing logistics and packaging, and uh, shipping plans for the official product launch. By completing PVT, you ensure that the production process is ready to handle customer demand while also maintaining quality and consistency. EVT, DVT, and PVT are essential steps in ensuring a product success. By following these stages, you can catch potential issues early, refine your design, and validate your production processes, which will lead to a smooth and efficient product launch. Each stage has its own focus, from testing functionality during EVT to ensuring manufacturability in DVT, and finally preparing for mass production with PVT. Skipping any of these steps could lead to challenges that are far more costlier to resolve later on. I hope you guys have a better understanding of what EVT, DVT, and PVT are. If you found this helpful, then please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any questions, then please comment below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you, everyone, very much for listening.